Hello, it's Hugh here, and today I'm going to take you around a site tour of the pub that we recently purchased, uh, the Anvil, which is based in West Yorkshire. Now, myself and Martin Wolford purchased this, and our plan is to convert it into five flats, uh, four of which are going to be one bed, and one of which will be a two bed. Now, unfortunately, this pub was subject to both vandalism and arson, so the pub itself is in a terrible state. It's unhabitable, um, but that's part of the reason that we purchased it. And what I want to do is take you through on a kind of homes under the hammer type of tour where you can see the building in its current state, which isn't great. And then in six or seven months time, we'll return back to the site and give you a full site tour so you can see the transformation and also how great me and Martin are. So without further ado, let's jump in the building and I can give you a full site tour. Okay, for the site tour itself, I'm going to be using the Matterport device. This is a great piece of kit if you haven't seen it already. It works very much like a Google Street Maps where we can dive inside. You can select certain points in the building and you can then move that around and have a full 3D image. So if we go through the front entrance. And here we are. Welcome to the Anvil. Straight ahead, this is going to be all knocked down and cleared out, and we're going to have a staircase leading up to the two flats upstairs. On the right-hand side will be a door to the entrance of flat one, and on the left, an entrance to flat number two. So let's start here. Okay, as you can see here, this, this bay window is actually slightly larger and made of stone. Uh, it's going to look absolutely stunning uh, once we've done it back uh, and brought it back to life. Uh, I think it's going to bring in some great natural light to this living and kitchen area. So where this bar area is, this is all gonna be cleared out and you're gonna have the first bedroom and then to the right hand side, which is kind of behind the staircase, you will have the bathroom for this flat. This gap here, which leads you through to a separate room is gonna be blocked up and that will be a wall then to uh, a third flat, which is downstairs. Let's go and take a look at that flat. You can see it needs a little bit more than a look at paint. So here's the entrance to the uh, third flat downstairs. If I scoot back to the picture, you can see actually under this canopy, that will be where the entrance is. And that was the bay window we were just looking at. Okay, so as they come in, this again will be a kitchen and living area. And I believe we're gonna keep that fireplace um, intact as much as we can anyway. So this area is gonna be boarded up for the first flat that we were in. If I move on a little bit. There's the ladies' toilets here, and this is all going to be part of the kitchen and living area. But just behind that, in this back corner, you're going to have the toilet. In this back left corner, you're going to have bedroom one. There'll be a corridor throughout here as well. And then through this door, you'll lead into bedroom two. You see it's a huge bedroom there. It's quite a lot to work with. It's also worth just pointing out, if you make a, a mental note of the, the ceiling space there, that will actually constitute a balcony on one of the flats upstairs. Just give you an idea of the size of that. So if we work back out now to the main entrance again. Now we go into the, sec the third flat downstairs. This bay window area is slightly smaller, but I still think it's gonna look great. And there's a canal view just in this corner uh, again, so um, because of the window setup, I think it's going to bring in some great natural light to this room. These photos don't really do it justice as well, but the, the rooms are much bigger and wider than I was expecting, and the ceilings are very high, uh, which is going to be very advantageous for us because they are going to be lowered across all of the flats uh, to ensure we've got soundproofing for the flats above. This, once again, is going to be the kitchen and living area. As we move back, you'll see that the current staircase will actually be cleared out. I'll be walking up that in a moment. But when that is cleared out, that will be the uh, bedroom for this flat, the one bed flat. And where the men's toilet is here and the women's toilet ends, there will be the bathroom. Where the bar area is, that's gonna be the staircase, which will all be boarded off. Okay, this entrance door here, which we actually came in uh, via the drill, uh, that's going to be boarded up um, as that will constitute the bedroom. And let's take a look upstairs. I 
I'm going to start with the top of the staircase. So as we came through, the, the just below here will be the main entrance um, as we come into the building. And there'll be a staircase on the, on the right hand side of this room uh, with a landing area. And there'll be an entrance to the one flat on that side with a door then to the entrance of a flat on the right hand side. So let's start here. So where this staircase leads us to on the landing, this will be the bathroom for this flat. And then just beyond that in the corner leading to this room here and that will be the bedroom then just behind me go through here this will be the kitchen and living area without once again that beautiful bay window uh, giving some nice natural light to the room really looking forward to seeing this as you can see considering there was a fire next door um, doesn't look great, but it could have been a hell of a lot worse. I think that gives a lot of credit to the building itself. Okay, so back to the landing area now, and we'll walk through to the next flat. We're this is, although it's technically a one bed flat on the plans, we're going to go back in for a planning amendment to convert this into two bedrooms, which you'll see in just a moment. This will be one of the bedrooms and we'll be knocking through that wall to where the bathroom area is here. So the room that I was just in and this room here will be bedroom number one. Then if we go into the fire room, as I'll call it, this is going to be bedroom number two. Now, as you can see, this looks worse than it actually is. and I appreciate it doesn't look great. But even if I scan up to the roof there, you can see how it's all come in as well. But we've had a structured survey done on this. Um, it's, it's absolutely fine. We're going to be putting in reinforcements uh, to this area. And again, considering there was a fire in this room, it isn't actually in that bad condition. This is the slightly larger bay window of the two. And being the upstairs flat and looking over the canal area, um, I think this is probably going to be the pick of the flats. Uh, this will actually be a, the second bedroom and we can see the edge of the fireplace there and back towards where I'm stood here this little area is going to be the bathroom so it's going to be a slightly smaller bathroom but it's going to be compensated with uh, an absolutely massive and gorgeous bedroom if we step back out that will be where the second bedroom is and now let's go into the kitchen and living area this is where the kitchen is currently in place and there's a little bit of storage just behind there. But I think one of the key features to this flat, not only is the, the fire room we were just in, but is going to be the balcony that's uh, present just here. So we're going to have um, a lovely open area which rolls around to the side. It's, it's deceptively big, actually. And if you can remember when we were on the ground floor and when we were looking up at the ceiling, uh, that space uh, will actually be a balcony area. And at the back here, you've got a lovely field as well. So you've got a nice view to look at um, both from the front and the back. I can't wait to share with you the progress on this. I am super excited to get into it. Uh, as you can see, we've got our work cut out. This isn't going to be easy, but I don't think anything really worthwhile in life is easy. Uh, so uh, I'm hoping that this has been of interest to you. And if you've got any questions um, about the actual building itself, how we're doing anything, just get in touch. And if you'd like to be involved with a project like this, please reach out to either myself or Martin Wolford and we'll let you know some of the details on how you can get involved. Uh, but thank you for your time and your attention. And I look forward to uh, sharing with you a transformational video or a progress video very soon.